Uh, hello guys and uh, welcome back to the third part of uh, designing and implementing a food menu application in uh, Android Studio. So in the previous uh, videos we have implemented uh, this header uh, in Android Studio and now we're going to continue by, in, uh, by adding those, uh, those uh, three images in our project. So uh, select those three images and click uh, Ctrl E and export as an Android. So uh, on the desktop you will see uh, six different folders for each screen size and uh, we're going to copy that uh, or uh, those folders in uh, our application in our resource directory. So I'm going to do this manually and uh, I'm going to paste that here. Okay. Now we have uh, imported our uh, images in uh, our application here. So next thing we are going to do, uh, we are going to uh, add uh, a card view. So in the search here uh, you type card view and just add that uh, on the center of the screen. Uh, I have already added the implementation uh, for, uh, for card view. So as you can see this is the implementation you need to add in order to use the card view. So uh, after you add that, uh, let's uh, change the width and height of our card view so we can move it around. Let's say 200 dp, uh, 200 dp, yeah. Well, now let's connect constraints, left, right, top and bottom. Okay. And now uh, let's check uh, top margin, uh, left margin and right margin. Uh, top margin is 20 dp and left and right are 24. So let's add that here. 24 right. And le uh, for the layout width uh, let's choose match constraint. So now uh, we have uh, our card view box here. And inside our card view we are going to add uh, image view. But before that let's add uh, ID here. Uh, card view 1. So now search for image view and add inside this uh, from the project just choose uh, our image. Okay. And now uh, okay inside our card view we should add constraint layout. So uh, we'll be able to uh, connect all those constraints for our image view. So inside this constraint layout we're going to add our image view. And now let's connect those constraints uh, top, bottom and left. Okay, and uh, we need to make this uh, image view fit uh, the box height. So uh, there are a uh, few different ways to, to do that, but uh, uh, you can increase the size of uh, image, but uh, that's, uh, that's not that good way. So uh, the better way is to decrease the size of the card view box to match um, the content. So... Uh, now let's see, let's select this uh, uh, to match the, the constraint. Okay, just a second. Okay, and now let's set this to wrap content, uh, height and width. And now uh, Select card view and uh, for card view height choose the wrap content. Okay, uh, for card view not for the constraint layout, so uh, layout height to wrap content. Okay, and now we have our card view or uh, our image fit the card view. So uh, let's change the ID of our image to Chicago Pizza. Chicago Pizza image. Okay. And inside uh, our constraint layout, inside our first card uh, card view or card box, uh, we are going to add uh, two texts and uh, two text views and one uh, button. So uh, let's change the ID of those texts. First text will be Chicago Pizza Price or Chicago Pizza uh, Title, and the second will be Chicago Pizza Price. So. Okay, now let's change the title here to Chicago Pizza, uh, text color and text size and font should be changed as well. So we're going to do that. Color will be black, uh, size will be 20 SP 
and down below uh, we're going to change the text to $9.99 dollars uh, color will be black as well and text size should be uh, 24 SP but this time font should be uh, uh, as, uh, should be SF Pro display uh, bold or heavy and let's now cons uh, connect all those constraints so uh, left constraint to our image view right constraint to a parent and top constraint to a parent as well so top margin should be around 16 dp now let's connect this other text our price so slowly connect to our first text view left and right the constraints should be uh, left uh, to a image view and right to a parent okay and uh, now that we have created that as we can see uh, those margins uh, we can start by implementing the uh, the button so let's copy this uh, orange dark orange color and inside drawable directory uh, create new drawable resource file and name it uh, custom red button so inside this uh, we're going to use a shape element uh, shape will be a rectangle and we're going to add a solid uh, we're going to open our color xml colors xml file and we're going to add this red color here okay this is our new color so let's close it and let's connect uh, this to our new color okay and let's use uh, corners for the radius let's say 100 dp and let's close this so let's add a button now down below let's connect those constraints as well left right and top Okay, let's just add this again. All right, so top margin um, should be let's say 12 dp. So let's see, well, let's say 14. And now on the our button, change the ID to uh, Chicago Pizza uh, button. Uh, change the text to add and we're going to add uh, of course text color to white text size to uh, hmm, let's see maybe 18 sp uh, font family will be uh, sf pro display bold and the uh, background should be our uh, our custom button xml file so let's connect that all right um, as you can see our uh, add uh, text is all uh, uppercase letter characters so we're going to use text all caps to false okay now it's good uh, I think we should uh, increase the width size of our button so let's uh, let's do that right now uh, let's change the width to 96 dp and height to um, maybe 40 okay okay it's fine now huh? And uh, let's uh, increase this to 20 dp, top margin. And um, I think it's uh, it's good now. As you can see in our card view, we have all those elements inside. So image view, two text box, and one button. So we're going to copy this card view. So click minus on it, and uh, select all of that. Click copy and just paste down below uh, we are going to need to change the ids because we have copied the, the same code from above so we need to change the ids card view 2 so uh, those margins here uh, those uh, constraints uh, will be uh, changed as well so as you can see uh, okay now we have that uh, the bod on the bottom and uh, let's change more ids here so Chicago we're going to change to a uh, Greek pizza image so uh, every ID uh, we're going to change uh, we're going to change uh, image as well so I'm going to replace all those uh, characters here so go down below and do the same everywhere so here again on the button and uh, those cons uh, constraints here as well 
all right um i think it, it's pretty good now so we need to change the name uh from chicago pizza to greek pizza the price will stay the same and uh i think we uh we can copy one more time here so click minus on our card view uh, select uh, this one line of code which contains all the elements inside and paste down below so click plus now and uh, we're going to change the IDs uh, again so this time card view 3 and all those constraints uh, we need to change of course image and uh, image text here as well okay Now change that to uh, Sicilian pizza. So we need to copy this uh, this word and we're going to paste that instead of the Greek word or word Greek. Okay, uh, Sicilian pizza text title here. Uh, we're going to change that as well. Text view here, all those constraints on the bottom. All right, uh, so button, uh, Sicilian pizza button, and two, uh, and those two constraints here as well. So now uh, we are done. So let's uh, we can now open the application, run application in the in our emulator to see how it looks like. So let's see. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, it's beautiful. It's almost the same. Uh, as uh, in our application here and uh, that was it for this tutorial uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video please like this video if you find it helpful and of course uh, subscribe to my channel if you, ha if you haven't already because uh, there are more uh, great course and content uh, waiting for you here on my channel uh, thank you for watching guys uh, and uh, see you in the next video